Nissa helped the doctor get to the Zero Room, which she accidentally jettisoned in order to save the TARDIS from being destroyed in Event 1. Arriving at Castrovalva for the doctor's benefit, Nissa found it was a secondary trap by the master to get rid of the doctor by using Adric to make block transfer computations. However, they managed to escape Castrovalva with Adric and the doctor stabilized. TV, Castrovalva. Upon leaving Castrovalva, the TARDIS materialized in the Psychodrome, which created four competing kingdoms based on each of the travelers' individual perceptions of one another and their own backgrounds. Nissa's perception proved to be the most dangerous due to her trauma causing her to associate the Doctor with the Master, resulting in the creation of King Magus. They were able to leave after acknowledging their flaws and shortcomings and affirm that they accepted one another despite them. Audio. Psychodrome. In 2592, after the four travelers were locked out of the TARDIS, Nissa and Tegan booked rooms at a hotel and met Chris Quay, from whom Nissa learnt that Serenity had survived the entropy wave that wiped out the Traken Union. Nissa escaped from adjudicators with Chris and assisted in his investigations into corruption within the Force, disarming fusion bombs and eventually meeting up with the Doctor, Tegan and Patience. Pros. Cold Fusion. The TARDIS landed on Isop Terrace, where the crew saved the humanoid survivors from giant termites. Pros. On the planet Isop Terrace, Nyssa lost consciousness in the 1950s due to the presence of an intelligence which she and the doctor later took to Otho. Pros. First born, on Monarch spacecraft, Nyssa was, unlike Adric, appalled by the Urbankans' plans and was determined to oppose tyrants following her encounters with the Master. Because of this, she was taken away to become an android. She was rescued by the Doctor and Biggin but, after the TARDIS dematerialized, she fainted, TV, 4 to Doomsday, due to Quindar afflicting her with evil. Audio. Primeval. Whilst the Doctor initially believed that she had suffered a mild mental disorientation, he later believed that it was a sign of post-traumatic stress resulting from the death of her father. Pros. Empire of Death. After Nyssa collapsed a second time, the doctor built a Delta Wave Augmenter. Although she claimed that she was alright, she admitted that she was having difficulty concentrating and used the Augmenter, sleeping for days and eventually waking up apparently fully recovered. TV. Kinda. In 1666 London, Nyssa found evidence of the use of an alien weapon inside Sir John's house and headed to the TARDIS to build a sonic booster to defeat the Terraleptal's android, something that she did with some assistance from Adric. She successfully used it to destroy the android, after which the pair tried to use the TARDIS to travel back to the house. TV. The Visitation. Nyssa and Adric instead arrived in the future, near the Mississippi River. They helped James escape his slave masters and restored power to Doc Ashbury's TARDIS, Pros, the Dark River, before returning to 1666, where they were reunited with the Doctor and Tegan and attempted to extinguish what would become the Great Fire of London. TV, The Visitation. The Celestial Toymaker gave Nyssa dreams of Traken, her father and the consuls. She was angry with the Doctor when he agreed to help separate the Toymaker from Rallin not understanding why he could not have done the same for her father and the master. Whilst she remained unhappy, the two discussed the matter and she remained strong, something that Tegan admired. Pros. Divided loyalties. Believing Udilf's people to be threatened by aliens, Nyssa and Tegan assisted them in making weapons and armor. However, they learned from the Doctor and Adric that the aliens were actually Utai's people, after which Nyssa preferred a peaceful solution something that Tegan and Adric disagreed with. Pros. The Immortals. Due to a communication node disguised as a toy, Nyssa had recurring nightmares of her father on Traken. The telepathic call led her to a room where she saw a vision of the First Doctor and the Master on Gallifrey, the Doctor later telling her that the node had been locked away so that it could not be used to track himself and Susan. Audio. The Toy. Whilst the Doctor and Tegan left Gallius Ultima to investigate the larger Magellanic Cloud, Nyssa and Adric stayed behind and watched the autopsy of the crew of the previous expedition to the Cloud. She saw Rovus begin his attack and, when the Starmen invaded, she was sent to their universe for a time. 
Audio. The Starman, at the contingency in 1864, Nyssa escaped from Edward with Adric and encountered Marjorie Stonegood, who helped them leave via the tube tunnels. They discovered an underground bathhouse, within which grew a number of Edwards. Audio. The Contingency Club. Nyssa and the doctor traced Adric and Tegan to Zaltes after they disappeared from the console room. Gavadin detected Nyssa's psychic capabilities and used them to magnify his own, allowing him to defeat the vampires. Audio. Zaltes. In the 1920s, Nyssa encountered the master again and was taunted about the destruction of her planet by him. He hypnotized her, something that Tegan sympathized with after being controlled by the Mara and the Terraleptals. Audio. Smoke and Mirrors. On Cicero Prime. The doctor was mistaken for the scorpion and Nyssa for his assistant, taking on the alias of Nyssa the Destroyer, to avoid being imprisoned and executed. The two eventually reunited with Adric and Tegan and helped protect Miranda from the real scorpion. Audio. Kingdom of Lies. Nyssa and Adric were attacked by an invisible force in 17th century Yorkshire. Using a displacement generator, the doctor sent Nyssa to 1738 where she was accused of being a witch before being saved and cared for by Matthew Doyle. However, her rejection of his love caused him to side against her when the villagers demanded that she be drowned, a fate that she was saved from by the doctor. Audio. Ghost Walk. Nyssa disliked Argentia, finding it excessively decadent. She was tasked with finding out the species of the snake which attacked Galgo whilst he was investigating the murder of Angelo Mazzini. Audio. Serpent in the Silver Mask. On a root and weapon test field, Nyssa, Adric and Tegan were kidnapped by Adam Mitchell. Comic. In their nature, they and numerous other companions of the Doctor were saved from death by Frobisher and later rejoined their Doctor. Comic. Endgame. In 1952. Nyssa met and befriended her doppelganger, Anne Talbot. Anne supplied her with a costume identical to her own, allowing the two to play a trick on the guests at Cranley Hall as nobody was able to tell them apart. Confusion which Nyssa was able to prolong thanks to Tegan having taught her how to Charleston. However, their resemblance led to George Cranley kidnapping Nyssa by mistake, although he eventually released her upon realizing his mistake. TV. Black Orchid. The travelers celebrated Christmas in the TARDIS, but Nyssa was angered when Adric and Tegan's antics resulted in their Christmas tree falling over. She stuffed the pudding that Adric had created using block transfer computation up Tegan's nose. Pros. In the TARDIS, Christmas Day. According to Iris Wild Time, she once spent Christmas aboard the TARDIS with the four travelers. Audio. Excellus Dons. Nyssa and her companions watched the Freedom Day celebrations on Lamaria, including a reenactment of the rescue of the planet by the First Doctor and Susan. After the actor playing the First Doctor took out his sonic screwdriver to defeat the Megrati, Nyssa realized that the actor was himself an incarnation of the Doctor. Pros. The Constant Doctor. Nyssa was told by the Dar traders that she should be dead, which was later revised to her having a strange connection with death due to being a Traken. She was stabbed and died for three minutes, after which she awoke in Tegan's arms having been brought back by the Dar Trader. Audio. The Darkening Eye. Working with Adric, Nyssa attempted to fly the TARDIS, which resulted in the ship materializing on Fleming's Island, the TARDIS falling off a cliff after the four left. Nyssa found herself briefly overwhelmed by the psychic presence of the Eye Predator, which they later managed to trap. Audio. Iterations of I. Nyssa and Adric played chess outside of the TARDIS, but she got fed up of his grumbling and left him on his own. She was able to coax him out of his bedroom days after the doctor saved him from becoming a Melker-like statue on a lifeless world, promising him that he could return to the planet in a matter of months as she knew that he would not wish to do so. Pros. Hearts of Stone. Following another argument between the doctor and Adric, Nyssa spoke to the both of them. She remained in the TARDIS with Professor Kyle after they saved her from Cyberman androids and destroyed a lieutenant when the Cybermen entered the ship. With the Doctor and Tegan, she watched Briggs's freighter crash into Earth with Adric aboard. TV, Earth's shock. She asked the Doctor if the TARDIS could go back and save him, 
but the doctor refused. TV. Time flight. Otherwise, she showed little reaction to Adric's death, something that the doctor later believed was due to post-traumatic stress. Pros. Empire of Death. The crew returned the freighter's personnel to their own time and, instead of landing at the Great Exhibition as the doctor intended, landed at Heathrow. Nyssa, the doctor and Tegan investigated the disappearance of a Concorde and found themselves transported to 140 million BC where Nyssa's psychic powers came to the fore. Upon defeating the Master once more, Nyssa and the doctor left Tegan at Heathrow in a hurry to avoid providing an explanation to Douglas Sherd, unaware that Tegan wished to remain with them. TV, Time Flight